calves need good quality feeds to grow but what are good quality feeds because that can be subjective but basics are very clear good quality feeds for ruminants comprises one 70% of what the ruminant feed must provide energy 70% so when you are procuring feeds when you are growing napier grass or you are growing boma rods or you are growing whatever you are growing ask yourself what amount of energy am i growing in this what amount of protein am i growing in this what is the right quality of fiber because fiber is very crucial in ruminants but ask yourself what is the what is the right stage of harvesting when fiber in the feeds that we are growing is at the optimum stage so that we provide 70% energy 30% protein good quality fiber not just fiber when fiber is late it becomes highly ligneous and when it becomes highly ligneous the lignin is an antinutritive factor which locks up the energy the protein the minerals the trace elements that we are growing at the rate of 1% every day so the more it becomes ligneous the lesser it becomes available for the animal because it has been locked up by lignin when we are growing this feed we must also pay attention to certain things that we can control like water stress heat stress because again plants tend to develop certain things that limit our ability to effectively utilize the nutrients that we have grown there we have things like tannins the animal the plants produce certain chemicals that for their own defense either during very hot climates or during very hot cold seasons and those tannins become antinutritive and they limit the ability of an animal to utilize the nutrients that are packaged in it so when we are talking about good quality feed so that we can effectively utilize it pay attention to 70% energy 30% protein good quality fiber and the water must always be food grade a cow can take in excess of 200 liters of water in a day in excess of 200 liters in a day particularly a big cow so when you give your cow some water and you think you have really given enough just know that they need a lot of it particularly for salivation purposes there must be minerals if you want to achieve good quality feeds there must be good quality minerals and minerals which are basically calcium and phosphorus and in the right ratio and also the same phosphorus and calcium should also be in a state that can be available by an animal because sometimes many of them pass through the system of the animal and broken down and that leads to uh, pollutions like you hear we have a lot of uh, phosphorus a uh, uh, pollution where excess phosphorus from dairy go into the rivers and cause a lot of uh, unnecessary growth there or in, in the oceans and this is basically because we are not paying attention to extraction of the nutrient that we are packaging in our feeds the animal hasn't had enough nutrients good quality feeds when there are no trace elements such as iron zinc selenium cobalt and all those they must be part of what we deliberately include in our feeding programs vitamins such as vitamin a the b complexes and all those very crucial and they are not optional because a good balance of nutrients make a feed a good feed the above listed are feeds but for them to be effectively utilized they should be in the right combination don't just heap them there put them in the right combination i've shown you we need a, a rough estimation of 70% energy 30% protein good fiber supplements like minerals trace elements and all that 
And an animal that is a high producer cannot over rely, cannot wholly rely on feeds from uh, grasses. You need to supplement with concentrates. For example, excess protein would destabilize the rumen. So when you say, ah, you, you want to buy feed that is highly proteinous. Ah, my feed is good. It's very high in protein. Well, anything taken must be taken in moderation and in the right proportion. Excess protein will destabilize the rumen. Excess protein will introduce a bad taste and a bad smell in your milk and it will undermine your production. It will affect your overall production. Excess phosphorus will lock up calcium, for example. So when we talk about, you don't know, I want a mineral that is high, high phosphorus. High phosphorus is, is a scam. Actually, your animal does not need high anything. It needs the right amount of everything, not excess of any. Excess phosphorus will lock up calcium and lead to such challenges as milk fever, infertility, and a few other things. Poor quality water, like in the case of concentrated chlorine in water, would inhibit the desire to take water early. So just don't say, my, there's always water there. My cows are not taking. Listen to the cows. Find out why are they not taking enough of it. That would further lead to water stress. You have water, but your animals are suffering from water stress. They are urinating very yellow urine, and they are not taking water early. That affects regurgitation. That further affects water uptake. 